Hey guys, it's the Root Leaf Storm here, and I'm here with semi-finals of IBL playoffs. Now, this has been a um, long journey for us. Um, we've taken L's, not many, <laughs> I might add, but we've taken a few L's um, on the way. And yeah, we ended this regular season 8-4 and four because we took a forfeit, plus 16 differential. So I'm pretty good. Um, now, I want to tell you the teams remaining. So, I know the result of the playoff matches, but I'm going to keep them a secret until the end of the video. So, our first semi-final, our other semi-finals match, obviously we went through, let, let me just go, let me just give you a, a little rundown of what happened. So, First off, we had um, Garchomp, aka Austin, who, if you remember, we choked against, and that was our first loss of the season, and it was quite early, but we bounced back, clearly, who played round one versus Tyler, who actually had a really scary team, but he got hacked, so he lost, so that's okay. Then we have Brendan versus Matt. Matt ended up picking up the win this time, after Brendan destroyed him last time. And then we had Turk. No, not Turk. Well, we had Turk versus me. And we obviously won that if you didn't check out last time, which we had Vengeance for. Also, we had um, in round one, we had Kurt here taking on the Miami Mellon Marlins. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, also coached by Tone, who ended up taking first place in our conference. Um, because obviously the forfeit, but I wasn't too bothered about that. I wanted to face Kurt anyway. Uh, sorry, not Kurt, Turk. And then we beat Turk, obviously. And then in the semifinals, the other match was obviously the Montreal Milotics versus Austin uh, and the Lawrence Talon Flames. So that's the other match. And this match is obviously us versus Kurt. So whoever advances in this match will take on either Matt or um, Aust uh, Austin. Now, if remember, we actually did beat Kurt last time. Um, it wasn't an incredibly, like, he, he, we brought fat and he couldn't really handle it. So this time, uh, I brought a different kind of style of play. So first off, we have Celebi, who is um, Screen Celebi. We have Reflect, Light Screen, U-Turn, and Recover on the Light Clay. And you can basically see how this team is going to go. Uh, we're pretty defensive. Um, I think this has enough speed to outspeed like... I don't remember what it is. I can't quite remember. I really can't remember. But it, it didn't have a lot of speed. It has 84 speed, so... But yeah, the rest is in defense and HP. Uh, 172 defense, bold nature. Actually, I think we're impish because... We, yeah, we're impish because our only attack is U-Turn. Uh, and then max HP, obviously. So, yeah, we have that. And then next we have Italian Hand, the Mega Sizzle. Now, if you remember last time, um, Mega Sizzle was quite annoying versus his team because of the U-turn and stuff. But it wasn't really the main factor. Our main factors were, like, Mill Tank and uh, Power Sand. Um, and we brought, like, U-turn, Roost, Knock Off. No. Ro Roost, U-turn. Yeah, I think we brought Roost, use a knockoff bullet punch. If not, Defog was over knockoff. Anyway, this time we are bringing Swords Dance, Roost, knockoff, and bullet punch with max HP, 108 special defense, careful nature, with 148 attack. Um, this special defense allows us to take an overheat with uh, light screen up from Rotom if he's not, um, you know invested so that's good um and i'm pretty sure he will be like rocky helmet defensive so yeah um we've got that um and yeah soul sense roost knock off bullet punch it's literally just set up screens go into it and just start nailing things next up we have slurpuff who looking at the team i mean it can set up versus robombi Rotom, if it's not speedy, and um, Blastoise, potentially. So, we have a few setup options, but he does have the Bronzong, so I'm going to have to weaken that first. We're rocking Ayapapa Berry, 
um, with sub, belly drum, player off, Jerry punch. Um, if we have return, that might be better, but I count and plus six, <laughs> player off just destroys Scholar Bead, so it should be fine. We're rocking 4 HP to make that HP number even. 252 attack, 252 speed with an adamant nature. This is enough speed to outspeed uh, Scholar Bead at plus one. So if he's jolly, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. It might be adamant, but it's either one. Basically, it outspeeds Scholar Bead at plus one, so yeah. Next up, we have Power Sand. Uh, I had to bring it again um, this week. Um, well, not this week, but playoffs, because he, he just did so much work last time. So Salt Bay's back, uh, Hold the Cold Berry with Water Compaction as the ability. Toxic, Earth Power, Stealth Rock, and Shore Up. Um, basically, max HP, max defense this time, because um, I, I had a lot more special defense last time, and it kind of caused me to not take on the Kang as, as much as I wanted to. So, yeah. Um, we've got that. Next up, we have Dewey, the Lantern, Horn the Leftovers with Heal Bell, Volt Switch, Scald, and Toxic. This is literally here for Rotom Heat and Blastoise. Uh, 252 HP, 252 Special Defense, Calm Nature, 4 in Special Attack. Pretty standard set. Not much to say about that. Then we have Doge. We have rocking almost the same set as last time. Um, we're rocking the Lycanium Z with Steadfast with the ability Slow Sense, Accelerock, Stone Edge, and Crunch. 4 in HP, 4 in defense, 4 in special defense, 244 speed, jolly nature, with 252 attack. So, yeah, I mean, a completely different build to what we brought last time. It was a risk for me because I don't, I hate rematches, so I had to bring something completely different just to throw him off a little bit because I knew he would prep for fat. So I had to bring something a little bit different. So I decided to bring, like, three Settlemans plus screens. So, yeah, um, bit of a more offensive game I think we're going to see here. Um, obviously, we still have the fight with Palisade. Now, one thing uh, to note, he dropped Steelix. Let me just double-check this actual transaction, because I know he dropped Steelix and he picked up um, Bronzong, but I think there was another trade in that. I think he had to drop, like, um, Z-Move on Togodomaru or something. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um... Hold on. Sorry, guys. Okay, so he dropped Trevenant and Togodomaru for Meganium and Dusclops, which I knew about. But he also dropped Steelix. When did he drop Steelix? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, he dropped Steelix and Dusclops for Bronzong. So he picked up Dusclops and then dropped it uh, for Bronzong and gave Togodomaru its Z... Uh, moves back. So, yeah. Um, his Z users consist of Togodomaru. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, okay. His Z move users consist of uh, Togodomaru, Skullipede, and Latias, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this time he ended up bringing the Rotom Heat, the Robombi, the Blastoise, the Bronzong, the Skullipede, and the Mega Kang. So, basically, everything he brought last time, but instead he brought the Bronzong over the Steelix, and I don't think he brought Robambi last time, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he might have, I can't remember. No, he brought Latias last time, so yeah. He, instead of Latias, he brought Robambi, and instead of Steelix, he brought Bronzong. So, yeah. One mod that I really, really expected, and he did not bring, for some reason, in my opinion, like, it was broken versus me, and it was the only thing that would have made me lead Celebi. It was Hunchcrow. I really expected it. Uh, I don't know why it's not here. Um, it did so much work versus me. Like, Sucker Punch, Brave Bird, just tears through my team. Like, it just absolutely it wrecks through me. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's not there. So, thank goodness for that. When I saw that, I literally just... I was so happy. So, let's hop into this match. My lead is Mega Scizor because um, I want to get my Mega off, basically. And I can click U-turn. Well, I actually can't click U-turn, but he thinks I can click U-turn. Basically, I expected a Bronzong lead, um, but that's fine. I mean, Bronzong lead doesn't really make much sense. But he leads Rotom Heat, and I'm fine with that. Um, I didn't really expect him to lead Rotom, mainly because they have a Lantern. But anyway, going out into it Lan, uh, Lan <laughs> now, going out into Lantern now, um, he clicks Trick, turn one. So, I mean... I literally do not care. Like, I actually do not care about this. Um, 
he brought this for Palisand, I'm pretty sure, because then Kang could do its thing, but I, I wasn't going to go hard Kang. Anyway, I get a free Volt Switch here because he dropped Steelix, so he dropped his only ground type, so now I have a Scarf Volt Switch. Um, in comes Bronzong. Now here I'm like, okay, I'm going Sizzle. I'm getting my Mega up. That's that's what I want out of this. Now here I debated clicking Swords Dance when I saw the leftovers, or clicking Knock Off. Um, I decided to just click Knock Off because I expected Rotom Heat to be a switch in, but he didn't. So we're gonna get a fat Knock Off off here. So uh, yeah, um. He's actually just going to go for his Stealth Rocks, which I thought was a bit interesting um, against my Defog Megases, but, well, potential Defog Megases, you know, but it's fine. He gets up his Rocks, um, and he took loads of damage on Bronzong, so that's basically one step closer to Slurp of winning the game. So I'm going to click Knock Off again. He stays in, and his Bronzong is literally dead. <laughs> like, it, it, it just is, but I'm glad he actually lived that, because now I can go out into my Celebi. Um and just click my screens and get them up. This is the opportunity I wanted. Um, the only other mana I can really get them up against um, is, well, I can get them up against Rotom if he's like a really slow Rotom. Uh, not a really slow one, but you know, a proper defensive one. Um, anyway, he, sp he spams Stealth Fox there, and he goes out into Rotom Heat. I expected that or a Bombi to come in, so I actually clicked Light Screen first. I felt like um, Solar Peep was not the play um, because of the fact that um, I could, could have just clicked Psychic there. Anyway, he goes for Willow Wisp and he outspeeds me. So I now know that my all, the only mons I can set up screens versus now, really, are the um, Blastoise and the Bronzong, which is on 1 HP. So basically the Blastoise. Um, so yeah, here we are going to go for the U-turn, you know. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, I can't speak. Also, we could do it against Mega Kang, but I'm not going to because of a potential power-up punch. I don't want to deal with that. So, yeah, and in comes Doge. So, here is my first chance to set up in this game. Um, I got in my Doge. Now, here I really wanted to click like Lycanium Z. However, my play was Sword Sense here. Um, I did not click it because I felt like he was going to bring in Bronzong. Um, because, you know... To, to just burn my Z-move. So I didn't click it there. So he burns me, which is fine. I don't care. I can just click SD again. Like, it's not a problem whatsoever. Um, and here he swaps out, and he goes out into uh, Blastoise, I think. Yeah, Blastoise comes in. And I click SD again. So now we're at plus two with Lycanroc. Um, and we're already pr putting pressure on his team. Now here, I wanted to click Z-move again. But, you know... Uh, Bronzong is still there on 1 HP. So that 1 HP Bronzong is pressuring my um, Lycanroc to the point where I don't want to clip my Z-move. Anyway, I'm kind of glad I didn't clip my Z-move because if I did into this Blastoise, it might have been in Torrent range and that would have been sucked so bad for my Lycanroc. So anyway, I go for Double Stone Edge instead. We knock out Blastoise. Blastoise is dead. Uh, <laughs> thingy's nearly dead. What's his face? Bronzong. So basically, my uh, screen Celebi is pretty much no more. Um... I could have gone, I could have taken a risk and gone out into, um, what's his face, Slurpuff, but I didn't really want to risk it. Anyway, why to click Z-move again here, but I didn't because I expected, um, him to go out into Bronzong because of what happened last time. Like, this same situation happened, but he is on the Charlie Berry. I still don't think I would have saved him from Z-move, like, whatsoever, especially if he didn't clip Protect. And then if he did, he, if he clipped Protect, the Charlie Berry would have gone off, so then I knocked him out with Accelerac next turn. But anyway... He pressured me to the point where I couldn't use my Z-move. So, got on him, I guess. So, in comes uh, my Mega Sizz. I'm going to click Knock Off. I believe I click Knock Off. As he brings in the pole. And, basically, my screen Celebi is no more. <laughs> like, I can't really set up versus anything. Um, unless I get it in versus, like, a minus two um, Rotom Heat. So, that's fine. I'm not too bothered about that. Speaking of Rotom Heat, in it comes... Um, obviously I know now that he's quite a fast Rotom Heat, so I'm like, okay, bye. Um, and in comes Salt Bay. Now, I knew I could take two overheats, so I thought this was a pretty decent play. He goes to Will-O-Wisp anyway, and now here, I was actually scared of the overheat. However, I felt like him getting his Rotom poisoned was horrifically bad for him so i decide to make a bit of an aggressive play and go for the stealth rock and he brings in mega kang and i was like i could have toxic this thing 
Also, a set I really expected from him was like sub special defense wish um, Mega Kang. That would have been horrific versus me. Like I really, really expected that set. I almost brought Earthquake for that exact reason. Um, however, from seeing the um, the trick Rotom, I wasn't too sure if he was going to bring that because I think his idea was to trick onto my Palosan. So I wasn't really expecting that set anymore. And when I saw Work Up, I actually Googled to see if it had refresh. Does not have refresh. We land the Toxic. Yes, we land it first time this time. And Mega Kang is on timer. However, he did click Work Up, and I've got to remember that because that is dangerous. Like, that is scary, depending on what say he is. So here, I expect another work up. He's taken one little bit of toxic damage, so he really has no reason not to go for another work up. So yeah, I decided to just get off damage here, get off an earth power, base 100 special attack earth power coming off, and he's not that bulky. So anyway, he's going to take the poison damage. Now here, I expect an ice punch or a crunch. Um, I'm not too sure which one he's going to bring. Um, I mean, I ice makes a lot more sense than crunch. Because of the fact that it hits Celebi, Dragonite, and Palisand. He goes for Ice Beam. So, uh, Landon's going to chew that. And, yeah. Uh, on this play, I'm going to double back out into Palisand. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to double out into Palisand. This play could have cost me uh, if I lost Palisand. But I wasn't too fussed at this moment in time. Because I felt like we Stealth Rocks up. All I need to do is kill the Rotom Heat, and then we pretty much win. As he actually goes for the Drain Punch there to get some health back. But he probably thought that I was, like, sacking off my Lantern because it wasn't really needed. But it can it can still be useful. So here I go on to um, Slurpuff. Another really good play by me. Because I knew he couldn't go for the normal type move. So I expected, like, an Ice Beam. He goes for the Earthquake, which is still fine by me because... Um, the first Earthquake gets me in my Aya Papa range. So I eat my Aya Papa Berry, get right back up to like 50, 60%. And then he crits the second one, which is unfortunate because I actually could have potentially taken on the Rotom Heat coming in. But it's fine. We knock out the Mega Kang finally, so thank God for that. In comes Rotom Heat. It's going to take the Stealth Rock damage. And now here, I know he's Trick, Will-O-Wisp. So I'm going to click Sub here, and I'm expecting Pain Split to be one of his moves. And he actually just goes for the Overheat here. So this makes me think that he's Mono Attacking Overheat, which is interesting. I mean, he could have Toxic as well um, for, like, Lantern. I'm not too sure. Anyway, he's going to get the Leftovers back. And here, my play is Drain Punch. But I think, potentially, we could have taken an Overheat at minus two. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that after the Drain Punch damage. Because, I mean... Parental Bond, it wouldn't have done that much, you know. Uh, the crit was a bit annoying, but it's fine. He's going to knock me out with a second overheat, though. And, yeah. Um, Slurpuff goes down. So, Slurpuff has done literally, like, nothing for me this season. It's been so disappointing. But, I mean, it saved me versus Mega Kang there. Like, yeah, that sack was important. So, anyway. In comes Lantern, he goes for Will-O-Wisp, and I'm like, huh? I really expected Robombi to come in here, um, because Robombi can take a Scald, and he can start, and he can try and set up uh, QDs and pressure me, and I felt like Rotom Heat was really his way of winning this match. Um, Rotom Heat plus Scolipede, to be perfectly honest, um, but he just keeps it in and sacks it, as you'll see here, but I'm fine with that. I mean, you know, there is... One way he can win this match now, and that is Babiri Berry Rabombi. Um, <coughs> yeah, Babiri Berry Rabombi is incredibly scary for me at this moment in time. Um, anyway, I expected Rabombi to come in here, but no, he brings in Scolipede um, just to knock me out, which makes sense. Oh, sorry. Awesome. Another thing. I kind of choked a couple of times here. Um, first off, I should have just gone um, Megasiz on this next play. Um, versus the Scolipede, I should have just gone Megasiz. Because um, I know he was the Rock Berry. And I knew it was a, it could have been a roll to knock him out. But, you know, that first of all, that's a roll in my favor if it was a roll. Second of all, 
um, he can't knock me out. So I don't know why I didn't just go into that. Also here, I should have clicked Shore Up. <laughs> but I didn't. I clicked um, Earth Power. So, yeah. And here, again, I should have clicked Shore Up. Um, but I didn't. I clicked Earth Power. So now... Um... Rabiri Rabombi actually beats me. I actually lose to it because he knocks this out with Moonblast. He knocks Mega Sizz out with Hidden Power Fire. And he knocks out my last Mon with Moonblast. What's my last Mon again? Uh, sorry, he knocks out um, Celebi with Bug Buzz. So, I'm like, I've lost. Like, if he's Babiri Berry Rabombi, I've actually lost. Um, and that's a very big possibility versus my bring. And as you'll see, like... I, my only play is Mega Scizor, and unfortunately, guys, you will see um, the fact that when my bullet punch goes off, I have a Berry Berry does not pop. We knock out Robombi, and we are able to advance to the finals of the IBL. Now, I also want to apologize for the fact that this match was post -commed. Something happened with my recording, and it kind of, like... It stopped the video for some reason, and I didn't know when, so, yeah, that was unfortunate. But anyway, it was a great game, nonetheless. GG Kurt, um, apparently he was gonna be Babiri Berry Rabombi. However, in the chat, in the match spoilers chat we have, he actually said GG, he wins. So I assumed that he didn't have it, so... I sped up the process by not clicking Shore Up with my Power Sand. However, it was still my best play, and I stand by the fact that that was a potential choke on my end. So, yeah, anyway, guys, <laughs> thank you all for watching. By the way, we are taking on Matt in the finals, and I am so excited. Matt is, like, he's basically been my rival in the IBL, but not just in the IBL, like, in other leagues, too. And we always have a good match, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, it's going to be a really, really good, f fun match. And either way, um, I'm going to be so happy with out any outcome. I mean, obviously, I'll love to win the IBL. However, if if Matt wins, he's a very deserving winner. Um, but yeah, Matt did end up beating Austin. So yeah, we are going to move on to the finals. So guys... Thank you all for watching. This has been Darude Leafstorm, and I'll see you all in the finals. Bye, guys.